What's up guys, it's Andrew the Knight and we're going to show you now are some quick little tips and tricks for the Galaxy S3. These are all ones that you can do out of the box, um, so none of them require root or anything like that. It's all stuff you can achieve just using applications from the Play Store and um, all the settings that you get stands on the device. So I've got a little list here and I'm just going to run you through them. The first one I wanted to talk about is something cool I found when you're in a full screen application and this may or may not be self-explanatory, I haven't seen it mentioned in any reviews or anything so um, I'm not sure how many people know about it um, I think you've probably discovered it if you've played with the phone for um, a period of time but if you're in a full screen application, depending on the orientation of the app you can scroll down from the edge of the screen like that and it reveals the notification tray and you can then pull it down to access your uh, notifications and things like that and your quick settings and if you just leave that it'll fade away um, after a while so this is difficult to see the camera because you got to get around the edge so you can see it appears there and then it will fade away which is pretty cool that's the first one um, another one we've got is an application called Lightflow which you can download a free version from the market which is slightly more limited or you can buy the full version for I think it's about £1.50 and this basically gives you much more control over the notification light you can change the colours for there we go. Change the colours for all these different things. You can change the pulse durations, the frequency of the pulse, things like that. Um, so that's really, really cool, just for giving you um, added functionality with the notification light. Another cool thing, as you can see here, I'm running an alternative launcher, and this is just Nova Launcher. And there's loads of these available in the Play Store. Um, I personally think the best is Nova Launcher, and it basically lets you replace um, the TouchWiz UI with something else, and then you can also do things like edit. Um, or your icons, um, things like that, and it gives you a much more stock feel, and you can pretty much just can um, customize this to your heart's content. So that's an alternative launcher. Another thing you can do in system settings is disable the LED lights um, down here. Um, again, this might be really obvious to some people, but this video is aimed at everyone who's going to be sort of rooting the Galaxy S3 from day one, right down to people who have never had an Android phone before. So um, some of these things may seem very obvious to some people, but less obvious to others. But you can go here, touch key light duration, and you can turn it always off. I think with these touch lights, um, they're very, very bright compared to the ones on the S2. Um, I think too bright, so um, I turn them off and I prefer them off anyway, um, just because I think it gives the whole front of the device a much nicer look. Um, but that's something you can do there, and you can also change the durations. Um, another thing you can do is with Dropbox, you can download the application Solid Explorer, which I would recommend anyway as the best um, file explorer at the moment on Android. But you can link it to your Dropbox account by going New Cloud Connection, Dropbox, and then here we go wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and it will attach your Dropbox account into this and you can then drag and drop files across from Dropbox to your phone and also gives you a nice way to view it um, outside of the Dropbox app. Um, next we have the ability to change your font and the size of text which again may be kind of obvious to some but less obvious to others and it's also a feature that has been um, excluded from a lot of uh, a lot of other manufacturers ROMs is something that normally you have to root to be able to do but you've got uh, several different fonts you can choose from most of which um, I would never use, I prefer just stock, I think it looks much nicer but obviously you can see these can be quite fun to mess around with and if you do want to customise it without rooting um, you've got the ability to do so and as you see there you can get more fonts online just that you can also change the size depending on uh, your preferences and obviously your eyesight and things like that. Another good tip is if you're actually using TouchWiz as your home launcher, now stock in TouchWiz you can hit the menu button and you can hide applications, which means applications such as the hubs which you can't uninstall, you can hide, um, so it just makes them a little less um, obtrusive. Uh, it's not ideal, but it's a way to sort of hide some of the bloatware on the device. Another one is, some of you may have noticed, if you try and set a wallpaper using the native gallery application, 
it sort of cuts the sides off um, when you do panning across screens and a way to fix that is to download Quick Pick Wallpaper, which is effectively a, well no, Quick Pick the app, it's a replacement gallery, but it lets you set a wallpaper using the application. And it sets it so that it fully fills your, fully fills your screen um, for scrolling. And also as a gallery application, it's slightly lighter than the stock gallery, so uh, it might be worth downloading and using anyway. A cool thing here, which is more of a um, novelty, more than a tip and a trick, is the widget uh, where is it one of the stock widgets and also you notice here you can use stock widgets or um, a selection of stock widgets on other home screens um, other home replacements sorry where are you? there we go negative colors um, you can tap this and you can actually inverse all the colors on your system which is pretty awesome eats through the battery quite quickly but um, it's quite a cool thing uh, just to mess around with um, what else we got? Another application is Widget Locker, which just gives you that little bit more functionality on your lock screen. Which you can see here, you have many of you will have used this um, in the past. It's a way of getting sort of the stock ICS look back, um, and you can move around all these widgets and you can customize them. For example, here you can make the background color pretty transparent which I prefer and then you see you've got much more stock ICS look uh, that's widget locker again that's free and there's also a paid version in the um, almost Android market in the Play Store I've put links to all the applications in the description another one you can do is use Chrome to get a slightly better browsing experience I think as an app it's slightly more stable um, than the uh, browser um, in terms of performance but it also gives you the great option that if you use Chrome on your desktop you can sync um, with all your different devices that use Chrome. So for example, this synced 16 minutes ago, if I tap this, it will now sync uh, to what's on my laptop, and that's my MacBook at the moment, so you can use that um, to get a much more sort of integrated browsing experience. Another one you can do is Spotify Beta, and I'll put a link to this in the description, which gives you a much nicer and prettier Spotify application. Uh, which looks much much nicer than um, the one that's currently on the market. Um, I play a song, but I have to obviously turn the volume down so you, I won't get sued. But you can see you get nice full screen artwork and things like that. It's slightly buggy in that occasionally it doesn't appear on the lock screen. But it should. Oh, now I've got widget locker. But you see here it appears on the lock screen, um, which is pretty cool. So that's um, the latest Spotify beta. Another cool tip is all these motions, which I'll do a separate video on because there are a hell of a lot of them. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what was I saying? Motions. There's a lot of them, um, but they are really cool. I'll run through all of them in another video, but some of these are really worth looking at. Um, tap to top is quite cool. You double tap to go to the top of menus. Direct call. They showed off a lot in the press thing, but again, that's really cool. Most of these are really obvious because they've been um, advertised so well. But they are worth just uh, diving into and having a look. So, for example, palm, you can swipe to do a screen capture, which is pretty cool. Um, so, again, just have a delve through those and have a look at them, and I'll do a uh, more in depth video. Um, the other last thing is with the volume, it opens up a settings thing here, which doesn't actually take you to settings, it opens up all your volume settings, which is really, really cool. So, you can adjust the core volume, the media volume and the notification volume all from the same screen um, and all on screen using touch which um, is actually really, really nice, that's something I think they need to uh, implement implement? I really can't talk, can I? implement into stock ICS, I thought that was a really nice feature um, so yeah that's just a quick uh, run through of some tips and tricks I hope I haven't bored you guys too much and hopefully some of those are quite helpful if you've got any other tips and tricks um, you'd like to contribute, just stick it in the comments um, so other people can see them. And obviously if you've got any questions, any requests, comment me or message me. Please subscribe if you haven't seen me before. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-da! <laughs>